I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome back to another week here at the Stress Mastery Podcast. I'm your host, David the Super Millennial. This week on the Stress Mastery Podcast, our topic is on randomification. In today's episode of Mondays with the Super Millennial, we're going to be discussing the ramifications of social media. Before we get started, I would like to remind you guys that access to the Stress Mastery community is absolutely free for the first 30 days. Sign up today and get complete access to courses, evaluations, community discussions, and much, much more instantly. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me at david at livingrightwithbillcourtright.com. I'll make sure to take care of any concerns you may have. Simply go to www.stressmasterycommunity.com or use the links right below. We hope to see you guys in the community very, very soon. Now, let's get started with today's episode. Nowadays, everyone is on some form of social media, whether it be Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, something. Many of us use it for our news, our updates, entertainment, keeping in touch with family and friends, but Many people do not understand exactly how the social media algorithms work and the possible ramifications that come with not knowing how it works. These these apps are designed to consume us and keep us scrolling and engaging on their apps for as long as possible. So, how exactly do they do this? Well, the algorithms track your likes, view times, comments, engagements, who you follow, and much more. Now, this itself isn't inherently a bad thing. This allows us to see what we like, gives us things that we will like and enjoy, and could connect us with people who have the same mindset and interests. Doesn't seem all that bad, right? Well, if you're unaware of how this works, it could backfire and lock you into a stream. This happens often during times of crisis like pandemic, politics, sports, and other events that have opposing sides and opinions. People use the excuse of feeding into things like this on the social media platforms by just saying, I'm just trying to stay in the loop. Or we hear this one all the time, I'm just trying to be informed. Well, what is really happening is that you're spending more time on things that keep you trapped in fear, pride, anger, and breaking people and drifting them further apart. Going online, it seems like there is no unity together within people. It seems like there's one side versus the other and no opinions can cross over or one side can't be right on something and the other side can't be right on something else. And this goes for everything. Like I said, it even comes down to sports teams. You see that very popular but it is a part of what the algorithm uses. This is happening every single day. When it keeps you trapped in this fear, pride, anger, the next thing you know, it seems like it's becoming the only thing in your life that you notice. It goes from constantly seeing it on social media to actually posting your viewpoints and opinions on these platforms. Then it goes to talking to others about it at work, or even having these discussions at home or family gatherings. Every day, this is happening, and many people aren't even aware that it's happening because most people don't know the algorithm and how these platforms work. Now, before you get scared and decide to go delete all of your apps, this doesn't always have to happen. So the social media algorithms are always going to be there, But now that you guys know how these apps work, what can we do to avoid these ramifications? Well, we have to use the algorithms in our benefit. And here's my three top tips to avoid the ramifications of social media and learn to use the algorithm to work for you. The first thing I have is go ahead and reset your algorithm. Now, You can't just do this by a press of a button on your your apps and stuff. 
But what you can do is actually trick the algorithm. By doing this, you would just start liking the things you want to see rather than the things you've been consumed into, searching the things that you want to pop up on your feed, and consuming positive things that you want to match your viewpoint. So only like things that align with your views, only like things that you would want to see on your feed, only follow people that share content that is similar to what you want to see. If you do this enough and then you close your app and you open back up, next thing you know, the feed will start being flooded more and more and more with these things the longer you keep doing it. This way you can kind of reset, purge out the old algorithm that you didn't know was happening and trick this one into working for you. And the second thing that I have, only like, follow, and watch things that align with your values. This goes to the first thing that I said, but this is how you keep it going. This is how you became, become a master at social media by allowing these algorithms to work in your benefit and allow you to grow, to connect, to engage with like-minded individuals and get information from these apps rather than being consumed into the world of fear that a lot of people have or the hate that goes on or even the opposing sides of things that you don't really need to invite into your life at this moment. I've met a lot of people from social media and they've been great. I've also learned many, many things from uh, social media apps and I've connected and created and put out a lot of content for others to consume. Do this and you'll see that the whole experience of your apps will change. Be a content creator of the things that you would like to see and also vice versa. And number three, as stupid as it's gonna sound, spend more time off your phone. Now, like I said, don't go away throwing away your apps or not using them at all, but this means take more frequent breaks or even take longer periods throughout the day. Taking a break from social media will kind of trick this algorithm and allow these things um, to give it time. And as you start to go back on these apps, what you'll notice is that your feed will be flooded with a bunch of things that you really, really like. The purpose of this is to try to get you back onto that app. So it'll start with a lot of the stuff that you're used to seeing that you want to see. And then you'll go ahead and start to see the other stuff again. Keep doing this. Keep following these three tips. And eventually you'll have the algorithm working for you. And the ramifications of not knowing how these things work will initially be eliminated. You'll be the one who masters what you see, what you consume, and what you put out. And those are the important things about using social media because it's on all of these apps. Every app works very similar, very the same. And you can trick all these algorithms by doing the exact same thing. So, again, here's my three top tips to avoid the ramifications of social media and learn to use the algorithm to work for you. First things first, reset the algorithm by making it work for you by liking, searching, consuming positive things that you want to view. Number two, only like, follow, and watch things that align with your values. And number three, spend more time off your phone. Taking a break from social media will allow these apps to try to keep you on when you come back by flooding your feed with a bunch of things you really like to get you to stay. And that's all I have for you guys today. Our mission here is to create a ship in the planet. And you can join us on this mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. The links are down in the show notes. As always, until next time, stay inspired.